Hello, my name is Eddie, Director of Marketing here at HP Tuners, and today we're gonna to talk about one of our newest releases, Switch on the Fly for the L5P applications. It is the world's first integrated ECM map switching solution for the E41 ECM. And to help explain and demonstrate Switch on the Fly, we have our marketing truck here. This is a 2018 Chevy Silverado 3500 with the Duramax diesel, also known as L5P. You may have seen this truck towing our HP Tuners trailer at events like Hot Rod Power Tour, but we also use this truck as a development vehicle. So it has our upgraded E41 ECM along with Switch on the Fly implemented. Now also remember, as we talk about the software features and products, HP Tuners does not provide any maps, tunes, or calibrations. We simply manufacture the tools that allow for comprehensive diagnostics, data logging, scanning, and tuning. So what can Switch on the Fly do? You can store your stock map and up to five additional maps at once. The on the fly part of the name refers to the ability to change maps on the fly. You do not have to stop and reflash your truck. What do you need for this? Well, absolutely an upgraded E41 ECM from HP Tuners. We now offer three options to get that. You can either purchase a brand new upgraded ECM, you can send yours in as an exchange and get a different upgraded ECM, or we just launched a direct upgrade where you send your ECM in and you get the exact one back upgraded. After that, license your ECM with eight credits, and then we move on to the next step of preparing the ECM for switch on the fly. To prepare your ECM for switch on the fly, you will want the latest version of VCM Suite. I'm going to open up the stock file with VCM Editor, making sure I have an MPVI2 connected to my laptop. So we'll load up this tune file right now. And we will go to the operating systems tab, this OS tab here, click on that and you'll see this option for switch on the fly, HPT switch on the fly. We hit apply code modification and you get this confirmation window that comes up, HPT OS mod complete with some steps to follow. Now these steps are very important. You absolutely have to follow them. First, save the file under a new name, close your current file, reopen up that new file, and then you will use the right entire process on the first time. You'll see a warning in all capital letters. It's a very important warning because if you fail to follow these steps exactly, you risk breaking your ECM and that's not something you want to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and save as on this new file. I'll go underscore switch on the fly, just saving it to my desktop here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this current file, reopen the brand new file, and once that file opens up, we can go to the engine tab here. And in the engine tab, you will now see this switch on the fly options here. So the default slot, set the previous, you can go one through five. The max allowed slots is OEM only and all the way up to, like I said earlier, five slots maximum. In this instance here, if your default slot exceeds your max allowed slots, it will default back down to zero. Below that, you can enable and calibrate the various tables you'd want here. So you can go down these drop down menus, you select that, and once that's complete, you're going to use the right entire process to flash the ECM. This only needs to be done on the first time. It'll take about seven minutes, but you absolutely need to follow the right entire process. And that's complete there. Next up, let's talk about how the cruise control buttons work to change your different maps and how the truck will show you which map slot you are in. To change maps in your truck with Switch on the Fly, you will use the cruise control buttons on the steering wheel. The cancel button on the left here actually activates your switching menu for up to 10 seconds. So you press that, it's enabled, and then the plus button will increase your map slot by one, and the minus button will decrease your map slot by one. There are two different behaviors to indicate what map slot you're in, and it depends if your engine is running or not. So with the vehicle on and the engine not running, the actual tachometer needle will indicate to you what map slot you're in. So now I have the map switching menu active. If I go up by one of the cruise control button, the needle will move to one, to map two, three, four, five, and so forth. The minus buttons will bring it down. Now with your engine running, Obviously the tachometer is occupied by showing your actual engine speed. So we use the glow plug light to indicate what map slot you're in. It will blink 
to indicate what slot you're in. So I'm in slot one, it blinked once. If I go up again, it will blink twice. Map slot three, the glow plug light blinks, blinks three times. Again, I drop down one, it blinks twice. So that's with the engine running. Now I'm gonna turn it back off because it again, is easier to see with the tachometer actually showing the map slot. When you press the cancel button, again, it activates the switching menu and it will immediately indicate what map slot it's currently in. To deactivate, you can either wait 10 seconds for the menu to automatically time out, or if you press the cancel button when it's active, it will exit out of the switching menu. And there we go. That's how you can change maps with switch on the fly. And that's how you can see what map slot you are currently in. We also have a new product called Diesel Switch for the L5P switch on the fly feature. It is a hardware physical rotary switch with a dial that indicates stock and then one through five map slots. So you can change your map slots with this actual switch in addition to using the cruise control buttons. The Diesel Switch comes with an OBD2 pass-through cable. So when you have your switch installed, you still have access to your OBD2 port, allowing you to plug in your MPVI2 and still use it. It's installed on this truck right now. Let's take a look and see how it works. Here we have our diesel switch installed in the truck right next to the OBD2 port. We've got the cable plugged in there and you can rotate your switch through and it would show which map slot you are in with the dial. Go all the way through five and back down. So not only can you use the cruise control buttons to do switch on the fly, we also have diesel switch available now and obviously the switch itself will indicate which slot you are in. Both available for switch on the fly in the L5P applications. There is an overview of switch on the fly and diesel switch for the GM E41 ECM. Now remember, this is the 2017 plus GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado 2500 and 3500 with the 6.6 liter Duramax L5P. For other information, definitely check out the L5P product page on our website. We have a switch on the fly user guide available for download. And if you have any additional questions, reach out to our support team. We will have the link below in the description. We look forward to sharing more exciting new product releases with you guys. Thanks for watching.